If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to study about the mechanism of action of penicillin or how does it work. So we all know that penicillin was developed during the World War II and since then it has provided a safe and effective treatment for a multitude of infection and also over time many bacteria have designed ways to defeat the penicillin. If this is our you know a uh, normal penicillin or traditional penicillin the bacteria has designed ways to defeat this so our scientists have developed various versions of penicillin means we have different types of penicillin as well to begin with we'll talk a little bit about the structure of penicillin so i'm going to draw a square here bigger square here and this is n and these are the attachments prongs and this is the o so this box here you can see this simple looking box is a beta lactam ring this is a beta lactam ring and this ring is present in all the penicillin family that is why penicillin are also called as beta lactam antibiotics antibiotics so why are they called beta lactam antibiotics because they have a beta lactam ring all right now how does the structure of penicillin looks like this is the general one how does the penicillin actually, actually look like so this is how it looks we also have a square here but besides that we have this pentagon here so as you can see penicillin has another ring fused to the beta lactam ring okay so you can imagine th this to be as a house we have a house here so it has a new room built next to the house all right so by changing the structure of this room adding rooms or you know changing the basement adding antenna all these things will give new versions of penicillin so this is the basic idea on how it goes all right now we'll talk about the mechanism of action of penicillin first of all let us know that penicillin is bactericidal means it kills the bacteria rather than you know preventing the growth so it kills the bacteria that is why it is called as bactericidal and it acts on both the gram positive and the gram negative organism so first of all we will talk about how does gram positive and gram negative bacteria look like so let me compare first an animal cell if this is our animal cell and this is our bacterial cell one thing i would like to say here that animal cell has just one covering and that is single cytoplasmic membrane which is composed of phospholipid bilayer okay but in cases of bacteria whether it is gram negative or gram positive we have one more layer protecting their cytoplasm and that is the cell wall or peptidoglycan layer so in bacteria we have one more covering outside and that is the cell wall so this is our cell wall or peptidoglycan layer now how does this peptidoglycan layer look like so i'll draw something here you see this is how it looks so the peptidoglycan layer this green layer it consists of this thing this is our disaccharide we have a disaccharide like so and has four amino acids it has four amino acids like so so you can see they are extending like a side chain from each disaccharide and if you have multiple you know uh, numbers of these thing let me just copy and paste so you can see this is how it is so here you can see 
this amino acid chain of peptidoglycan it covalently bounds to the neighboring chain so it results in a stable cross linked structure and there is one enzyme that catalyzes the formation of this linkage and that enzyme is transpeptidase trans peptidase and it is located in the inner cytoplasmic membrane that is why i have written it here so our antibiotic penicillin so if this is our antibiotic it will bind to this enzyme and it will inhibit this enzyme that is why this enzyme is also called as penicillin binding protein because our penicillin is coming and bounding to it that is why this transpeptidase is also called as let me find a space to write this is also called as penicillin binding protein also note one thing here that the gram positive cell wall has very thick and extensive cross linking of the amino acid side chain and in contrast the gram negative cell wall is very thin with a fairly simple cross linking pattern so we learned that both the gram positive and the gram negative bacteria they have an outer cell wall and that is the peptidoglycan so this penicillin it must evade the bacterial defenses and it will penetrate the outer cell wall to the inner cytoplasm it must reach this area before it acts all right so let's see what happens in the gram negative bacteria so this is our bacteria this is the cell wall okay so the cell wall of the bacteria the gram negative bacteria it has channels small small channels and they are called as porins porins okay so the penicillin the only way it can enter the cytoplasm is through this porins or the channels in the gram negative bacteria so let's say our penicillin entered here and here we have a transpeptidase enzyme so it will inhibit this transpeptidase enzyme and the cell wall synthesis is arrested means the cell wall will no longer form and thus the bacteria will die so this is how it works in the gram negative bacteria so we learned that to be effective the beta lactam penicillin it must first of all penetrate the cell wall okay and when it penetrates it should keep its beta lactam ring intact means it should not be destroyed by the defenses of the bacteria and the third thing is that third thing is that it should bind to the transpeptidase now how does this bacteria defend itself so one way the gram negative bacteria defend themselves is by preventing the penicillin from penetrating through these porins so remember that gram negative bacteria have an outer lipid bilayer around their peptidoglycan layer so this antibiotic must be right size to enter the porin because if it is large it won't be able to enter so by changing the size of the porins it avoids the entry of the penicillin also both the gram positive and the gram negative bacteria have an enzyme that is the beta lactamase enzyme so they have beta lactamase enzyme so this enzyme it kills the antibiotic or it cleaves the cn bond of the antibiotic so we had a structure there in the image that was a square and we had an n here obviously we had a c here so this this is broken by the beta lactamase enzyme one more way the bacteria can defend itself is by changing the molecular structure of the transpeptidase okay so this is how they defend the defend first one is that they change the channels the size of the channels the second one was that they have beta lactamase enzyme and the third one is that they alter the molecular structure of the transpeptidase all right So this wasn't short about the mechanism of action of penicillin. I hope you found it helpful. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, 
comment subscribe and share the video thanks for watching love is